show you how to make these lovely uh, sesame bread rings. They are called uh, Jevrik and it, it's a Macedonian recipe that I'll be following today. You can find them in other countries like in Turkey they're called Semet and so on. So basically we will need four cups of all-purpose flour, two and one quarter of a cup lukewarm water, three and a half teaspoons yeast, pinch of sugar, one and one fourth of a teaspoon salt. For the surface of the rings we're going to need half a cup of water, two tablespoons of honey, half a cup of sesame seeds. We're going to start by activating the yeast so I'll put uh, the yeast in only one cup uh, and one fourth of a cup of the water along with the sugar and we're just gonna mix everything together and put it to the side until uh, for 10 minutes uh, to get the yeast uh, start, uh, to get the yeast uh, activated We're going to add the salt to the flour and mix them together and put it to the side. After 10 minutes the yeast is all foamy so I'm going to make a well in the center of the flour and I'm going to uh, add the yeast mixture. And start mixing the dough together. Now we will add the other cup of uh, the water gradually to see uh, if it's all needed or not. So I've added uh, a whole cup and as you can see the dough is uh, sticky but that's fine this is what we want we want a dough that has a high ratio of water in it and by kneading it it's gonna we're gonna resolve its thickness so I'm just gonna put it into to the surface I'm not gonna be adding any flour or I'm not gonna flour the surface either uh, and I'm just going to rely on uh, kneading and very like uh, strong kneading for it to stop sticking. So you have to be patient, keep on kneading, applying force as you can see and try to, um, uh, to incorporate some, water, uh, some air as we uh, knead it around. So after 15 minutes of good kneading, as you can see the dough has stopped sticking and it has come together beautifully the surface is smooth uh, so i'm just gonna turn it into a bowl put it together and then i'm just gonna put it in a, a, an oiled po uh, bowl and uh, oil the surface and cover it and let it stand for two hours after two hours i'm just gonna take the dough out of the bowl and back to my bench no need to add any flour to the bench either. And now I'm gonna knead it for a couple of minutes only to form it into a bowl again. And now I'm gonna divide it. It's up to you how much, uh, how big you want your uh, jabrix to be. So I've only divided it into three pieces. And now I'm gonna form the bowl by tucking the sides to the center uh, as you can see and I'm gonna repeat that to the rest of the uh, pieces and let them uh, rest for 20 minutes after 20 minutes uh, I'll bring the first piece and I'm just gonna start shaping it so I'm gonna try and make it into a rectangle and then I'm gonna start folding it so first you, f you fold one third in and you pinch it with your fingers and when then with the palm of your hand and then you repeat that to the other side as you can see again just press it with your palm 
and then I'm gonna do it one other time. This is gonna help in the final texture of the pre uh, of the jabric. So I'll put the seam side down, and then I'm gonna uh, form it into a, like a long rope or log, and the surface should be smooth and the seam side should be down and then I'm just gonna form it into a ring and pinch the ends together and make sure that it is well sealed. Once that is done I'll transfer it into a baking tray that has a baking paper uh, on it and I'll leave it to rest for another whole hour. So I'm gonna repeat th that to the rest and leave them to proof. Now I'm just gonna, after an hour, I'm gonna dissolve the honey in the water and then I'm gonna brush the surface of the jabrik with uh, the water honey mix and then I'm gonna sprinkle them with the sesame seeds. As you can see, I'm using uh, roasted uh, sesame seeds but you can use, you can use uh, uh, the normal unroasted uh, ones. It's up to you. And make sure that you put as much sesame as you want and then we're gonna leave them to rest again for 20 minutes before putting them in an oven at the uh, 190 to 200 degrees Celsius for 15 to 20 minutes uh, until they are golden uh, from the top and the bottom and this is the end result as you can see uh, this is a very uh, easy bread recipe it's very yummy and fluffy from the inside i hope that you will like it try it and like it and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to follow me on facebook instagram and on my blog bye bye